Vlad, uh, in talking to your teammates so far today, there's been a lot of conversation about what it would mean to win the mm -hmm. SEC. Just what would that mean if you guys are able to win on Saturday, particularly the fact that uh, you guys haven't won the title? Yeah, um, like I said, we, I mean, since I've been here, um, obviously we won the national championship, but one of our goals is all, every year is uh, win the SEC championship. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a big goal for us, and it would be a huge accomplishment. I mean, yeah, just like, like execution. Um, I feel like we have a have a great game plan in. Um, we, we just gotta go out and, and do it. Whether it's not running the best route, whether it's not blocking it right, whether it's not making the right read. Um, I mean, yeah, there's just a bunch of little things that go into it, and I mean, that's what, what we work on every single day. So, uh, yeah, just kind of get back to it, and hopefully. I guess just as a follow-up, is it frustrating knowing that it's so many? little things keeping you from it or is it encouraging knowing okay if we just clean up these little bitty things we'll, we'll get there. how do you kind of do yeah that? I mean I guess you could say both um, obviously you want to score touchdowns in the red zone like that's that's the ultimate goal you don't want to settle for field goals even though Pod has done a great job um, but yeah you I mean you want to score touchdowns so at times you're like yeah I mean we're, we're right there we can score but then again it's like we just put this drive together we, we just moved the ball down the field well, I mean what's stopping us so I mean yeah just kind of like I said, just cleaning those those little things up, and I mean I think we can do that. And once we do, it'll be be good. Lad, I know this is this is kind of old history, but I'm I'm curious when I look at your career now and I see you tied for the team leading receptions and making these special teams play. And a few years ago, you're you're the guy that was the project that people wondered about. Well, why is he getting a scholarship? What yeah. what kept you driving forward, and what gave you the confidence that, that you could come in and Play a program, much less start a program. Going back then and, and even now, how do you keep that shit? Uh, I mean, yeah, just kind of like seeing those guys um, that were on the field my freshman year, and then just like watching them and how much fun they were having, um, and like how exciting it is to be able to play out there. That's kind of what what drove me to just kind of get out there and, and want to do it. Because I mean, no one wants to, to practice all week and not play. Like it, it's hard, and that's just some struggles you have to go through when you're a younger guy. And I mean, that's, I feel like a lot of guys now are, aren't wanting to do that. But I mean, if you put your head down and grind and just kind of listen to what everyone has to say and just kind of keep doing doing the little things right, I feel like it eventually pays off for you. What about the confidence, though? I mean, you were like the biggest or strongest mm -hmm. guy that we knew of at the time. What, yeah. what gave you the confidence to think you could compete here? Um, really just kind of going up against those guys every day. Like, I, I mean, I, I knew I could do it. I, I was doing it, I feel like, day in and day out. And I mean, the, a lot of those guys, when I was a freshman, were kind of telling me like, like if you keep, keep stick with it, like you're gonna be good. Like you can you can do, get it done. So yeah, just kind of having like other players and like little co like coaches telling me and um, yeah, just kind of giving me that confidence and kind of boosted it for myself as well. A couple of different times on screen passes this year, Rodney Jones has shown an ability to get downfield and just yeah. just declean defensive backs. What's allowed him to, to make that kind of an impact on a screen play or a play like that and be such an effective downfield blocker? Yeah, I mean, it's not every day that you see a, someone that's 300 pounds, as big as him, being able to move like that. Um, he's freakish athletic, and I feel like that's really what separates him from, from everybody. Like, There's a lot of guys that are 300 pounds. There's a lot of guys that are six five or whatever but to be able to move like that and then like you said block dbs like it's it's hard for a big guy to to block in space so for him to be able to do that i mean it just kind of shows what what he does in practice every day also to work on it and kind of build build what he what he needs to be able to do that so yeah i mean he's an extremely hard worker and i feel like that's just something that that's came with i mean he's obviously athletic but he has to work and i mean i feel like it's really paid off for him now, what's it like to, to play for Kirby? He's known for being demanding. Does it take a thick skin to, you know, know that uh, there might be some criticism that, that uh, it's kind of harsh? Um, I think I, I mean I think Keeley told y'all a couple weeks ago you got to listen to to the message and not the tone. And I mean yeah the the defense probably gets a little bit more than the offense with just how Coach Smart coaches. But yeah I mean it's obviously he's a, he's a great coach and he wants the best out of you so. I mean, if you can't if you can't take that coaching and you don't want to be coached, then you're probably not at the right place. He's he's wanting you to be the best best you can be, and I mean, I feel like every single player should should want that. So 
he just wants the best for us all. So, I mean, obviously he might come off wrong sometimes just like any other coach, but at the end of the day, he wants what's best for, for you and what's best for the program. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Um, I mean, yeah, uh, I feel like a lot of it is like you kind of get things rolling and, and just like you said, it just kind of keeps going. So once we find that rhythm and uh, and, and get that rhythm about us, I mean, it, it, I feel like it's hard to stop us. I mean, we have so many playmakers that can make a bunch of plays, um, great calls. So, I mean, yeah, uh, like I said, just get that rhythm going. And, and once that happens, I feel like it just it just builds on top of that. Glad we had a chance to talk to Warren earlier, and he talked about the offensive linemen really kind of challenged themselves mm-hmm. to block better in the run game. We've mm-hmm. kind of seen that. Yeah. What have you seen from those guys when it comes to run blocking, and just how important is their role in, in the entire offense? Yeah, to look a lot like that? Uh, I mean, yeah, that means so much to those guys up front. Like they they want to be the best O line in the country, and the thing is, we don't just play five O linemen. Like we're rotating in all the time, and I mean, our coaches and and them, they don't expect anything to to drop when one person comes out another one comes in. I mean, it's the same standard, and I feel like they've done a great job of that. Um, I mean, yeah, they they work every single day. Like, team run periods, they're, they're fired up, ready to get after it. So it's just a testament to how hard they work, and, I mean, it really shows, and they want to be the best they can be. So, I mean, they're going to go out there and give it their all and do what they need to do. But you guys finished uh, 12 and the season last year, same thing mm-hmm. this year. How can you kind of compare the feeling heading into the SEC championship game this year versus last year and maybe how this team maybe feels different heading into it? Um, yeah, uh, I mean, SEC championships are hard to come by, like we said. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't won one since we've been here. A lot of guys have not won one, been in, been in it before, but haven't won it. So, I mean, we know how much of a, a challenge it is to get to this point and how much of a challenge it, challenge it is going to be for the rest of the year. So yeah, just we want to go out and take it one game at a time, and just put our our best foot forward and do what we need to do to get the win. As a receiver, you're kind of a short area quickness, quick twitch kind of guy. Uh, going from grass to turf this week, uh, what is the difference for you? Just making a lot of cuts and stuff like that. And do you think the receivers will get a lot of work in the indoor field, just making those cuts in practice? I mean, we're playing on the on the same field they are, so I mean, you can't really say it's different for us than any other week. I mean. You get your foot and feel it in warm ups and that's the biggest thing, kinda of go out there and, and have a great warm up and get the get the feeling for it and then it was I mean we played in the dome before or yeah, Mercedes Dome, so uh yeah, we played there a couple of times so I mean we know what it's like. Um I mean I'm sure they played in the turf before, so it's it's not gonna be too much of a difference for us. Lab, what was your reaction when, when Coach Hankton went to LSU? Did you think the pull in some state would, would be a big deal for Uh I mean it was probably I mean maybe. I am not I'm not really sure what all went into it, but I mean I I wish nothing for the for the best for Coach Hank. Um he was always a great guy, always a, a great leader for us and he did so much for me, so I mean yeah, I'm I was thankful for him and for that opportunity he got. So I mean I have no hard feelings like he do what he needs to do and I mean I'm I'm supporting him all the way, so I almost hate to bring it up, but you had a few drops early in the year. Mm-hmm. I don't think you had anything here of late. But yeah. is, can you, was there a story there where uh, you know, you're know you out at midnight catching on a jug machine or you change gloves or any great things like that? Uh, I mean, not really. Uh, I mean, obviously get some get extra catches after practice, like get back to the basics, and that was kind of something I really wanted to do, just just focus focus on the point of the ball. Uh, so, yeah, like I don't, I don't think it was – a lack of ability for me. Um, it was really just kind of not locking in, not not seeing it, trying to maybe do something a little bit too much before I caught it. So yeah, just kind of get back to the basics. And I mean, you can't do anything without without the ball in your hand. So just being able to, to focus in and lock in on that, and then once I once I get it, then make the play. But I mean, that's the first priority is, is catching the ball. So let's take one more question, please. Uh, when we talked to Coach Smart earlier, he was mm-hmm. asked about. Everything that's put on Stetson in this offense, just how comfortable are you with you know, what Stetson's able to do and, and how he's able to navigate everything that's put on him as the quarterback? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously being the quarterback for any team uh, is a big role. Um, he's done it for two, two and a half, three years now. So, I mean, yeah, he's played in huge games. I know he's this isn't any different for him. Like, he's he's been in these moments. He's He's played in big games like this. 
So I know he's going to be confident. He's going to come out ready. And I mean, we have full faith in him as our quarterback. And let's take one more right here. Talk my way into it here. <laughs> No, um, it's, it's an offensive player. When you go inside to a, to a place like Mercedes-Benz, mm -hmm. you know what the conditions are going to be like. There's no no wind, no rain. Right. The surface is the same. Does that give you guys any, in any certain way like extra confidence? Does it? Could you like be more aggressive, for example, something like that, because you know what it's going to be like there in that in that facility yeah. on the field? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not real sure if it's like a different level of how we're going to play or how we're going to attack anything. Uh. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a, I guess that's a question for, for um, our coaches. But, I mean, yeah, we're just going to kind of go out and, I mean, I know I am and I know the other players are going to go out and attack it like we do every week. And whatever they call, we, we're the ones that got to go execute it. So, yeah, just do our assignment and, uh, yeah, just play our game. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thank you.